extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Um, plus encyclopedia, plus inland coordination. Uh, high die coordination, inland empire. Um, this is probably gonna be a bad way to start, but. Okay. Raw intellect. I put myself at good. Since to have, I put myself at weak. Physique. Got some strength. I'm not super agile. Might be average at best. But I feel like I need a, a few more points here, buddy. We need to get some more points on this boy, don't we? Um, weak. Oh, man, good intelligence. Average. All right, we'll put lower than average. Um, and I would say, you know what? Average there. I'll have average for Zeke. You know, the years have been tough. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be literally like the worst build if I'm trying to min max. But it's a video game. Let's go. Select your signature skill. The skill will select a plus one bonus. Additionally, the learning cover skill of the same type will be raised by one. Logic. What does this mean? And select base four. Oh, it seems like that's going to be me. Then I don't have this. I'm not encyclopedic. I definitely don't do that. Conceptualization. Understand creativity. CR in the world. Um... You pick one per each, or I'm thinking I'm gonna lean towards probably towards logic. Did I do that? Double click it. Says signature. Okay. Does that lock me at all the other options? I think so. Okay, that's fine. Logic, oh yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that. It's exciting stuff. Interesting to see how this game is. The Furies are at home, and the mirror is their address. Even the clearest water is deep enough to drown. Do I need to click that, or does it just tell me this is the beginning? Conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Okay. Never, ever. Never, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. I just simply keep on existing then. And in order to know how time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. What was that about next time? Whatever creeps up on you, a mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. Its bloated and shameful appalling me surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness. Wonder if I can press the number key. Nope. This. There. Yeah. No ball of me. No, no tin key. Night in the formless nothing. Just night swimming. I like I nothing. You do, baby. I know. How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Alonzi, let's go. All right. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Barra. Boy, this uh, sure is depressing. 
All right, return trip to the silence, please. Let's listen to the ancient zero home. Look, there's. I'm tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? I don't even understand what that means. Look, there's. I'm tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? Oh, I see. There, he's pointing out as if this is a physical. Yeah, got it. What about number two? Great choice, Elder One. It has always been like this, and it always will. Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. Wait, no. I need to belittle myself instead. Uh, okay. Number one, please. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? man meet around you a sensation okay well continue I guess oh geez more just more of this the limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again it wants to walk the desert Uh, you like just that one. A stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. Hmm. Who am I? What sort of creature is this to their own mouth? Treat your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound that you call it and tell. A corpus canima motor carriage. So I guess I did some sort of roll just now. Take all. You got a shirt, buddy? Take all. Oh. Looks like that's mine, isn't it? Eh, do I need it? This magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. It's real to real tape player still on rolling empty. In the pocket of your flare cut jeans. Alright. There's whirling in rags on an aluminum key ring. There's a single key ring, number one. So it's like my own key. Okay, so right now I can't really independently move the camera at all. Window stands broken in its frame, cold window blows in. The shards face outward, where I broke this wood this window came from inside. Did I break with my own hands? I find what was scarring scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. 
What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the door from pulling a tool back in after it impacts. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which coincidentally is missing its friend. Congratulations, you smashed them with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door it should be outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I should go and get that shoe. On your other shoe. A cool window gush in, your toes curl from cold. So one of these shoes is there. Boy, my dude is really struggling, isn't he? I'm glad he put it on. Check the bathroom here. You see a bottle in the bathtub, wine and beer and sweet liqueurs. I'll take that. Get a little rough look in the mirror at my trash body. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink and a fierce discharge of masculine energy. Someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the soft vapor. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror. Abort! You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you'll see there and you'll never unbecome it. Better to leave it. Hmm, I wonder if I can... game has got some style to it, doesn't it? Um, controller settings and all? No? Okay. No, no, it's okay. We're cool. Or, I mean, of course there are. Uh, neat. Might as well save. We're already here. All right. So we got a shirt, shoes, helder, keys. Well, that seems like a thing. This fan has two chain pull switches, one on the tiny fan, other on the light bulb, truly horrific necktie, so I attach itself to one of the blades. Oh, I should pull on the fan. The blades come to a squeaking halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Alright. Oh my god. You reach out to grab the tie, but what's this? Diffuse radiating chest pain? Doom comes over you. Well, I got health hurt for reaching for that tie. This feels bad. While the pressure recedes, you find yourself covered in a cold sweat, trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. Well, might as well just leave that tie there. Well, it's, well, it's stopped. <laughs> uh, pull on the light again. I'm going to leave that. There's no benefit. I don't need a tie today. This. Oh, that's the door from the other room. All right, let's get out of here. He can walk no faster. I'm wildly clicking. Okay, so let's see if we can find our other shoe over here. Must be somewhere.
I think I just actually stole somebody's tip. Reading time passes time quickly. Okay, reading passes time quickly. This is going to take me outside because I would like to. All right, good. There we go. Now we're looking like a reasonable human being, doing the best we can with the life we're given. friend Hello, I'm an officer the young woman raised her cigarette to her lip officer am I military personnel turning your bloated face away from her beauty just keep on walking well don't be rude uh, no honestly <laughs> wait I know I'm a businessman then why did you call me an officer? How does that? Oh, no. Should I make the goof? I think I'm gonna make the goof. Okay, Chief Technical uh, Officer. You're a police officer, sir? Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. Turn the volume up a little bit on this game. Do -do 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 -do. All this time. You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. <laughs> okay, this is it's not optimal, the situation we found ourselves in. I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you show yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Ugh. Might not know where I am or who I am or what Corpius or Cooperus Kinema is. How I know what how I know what one sounds like. Why well, don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in your would let me be an officer of the law? I don't, uh, hmm. Well, this is the one word that we have picked up of this far. I can't ask her why I don't remember being someone. That seems like a useless goof. Might not know who or who I am as I, how I know what one sounds like. But I do know when someone's not telling the whole story. What doing here? What's my case? It's weird to press her more about this. Right? Like. There's no reason why she would either a. Once she's in on whatever it is that's causing me to not have my memory. There's no reason why she wouldn't just like. Tell me. I have no reason to disbelieve her. I remember the cub. I should get going. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. All right. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Goodbye. Well, bye. Class J. What's the date? The calendar says it's March. The year is 51. So she'll have a nice long step in the ashtray. It's still smoking. All right. And there's no reason to try that door. I don't have the lock to it. Or the key to it. 
a lock to it. Come on. This weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trump Le Monde. Trump Le Monde. I don't know. Language. Go ahead and sing on into it. I wonder what this is representative of. Ooh, she told us in character, you the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast like, oceanic soul. We're gonna discard that thought. So those are thoughts floating around my head. A man in his late 20s stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance and looks down again. That was the stain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposely ignoring you. Someone tells me you don't like me. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero, cop. Oh. Uh. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? And not only a cop, I'm also a hero. So you're being sarcastic. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. <laughs> you're right. You didn't. And it's only taken you three days not to. Interesting. What have I been doing all the time? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. I'm not gonna ask that. Let's look at the stuff bird. A competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the burgers ripped from his shield. I was used to mount, most likely on the wall. I don't have any hand skills. I'm pretty smart. What happened to the bird? Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Oh, yeah. Why my buddy? He pretends up to hear you. I'm gonna leave this man alone. I'm also probably not gonna touch too much stuff in here. I get the feeling I'm not exactly wanted. There's my buddy. A respectable man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. It looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As he approaches his eyes now, and he extends his hands greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in the best way to save you. For sure of this, but why? Raise hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. 
you must be from the 41st. Conceptualizations. The red check. It cannot be retried. Twos always lose. Six, twelves always win. Or snake eyes. I guess that would be what that is, isn't it? I don't really know my name. I don't see a reason to even make up a name here. Okay, then. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is he's been trying to meet up with you two for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Hmm. You mean him? Not towards the cafeteria manager? I'd have to talk to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Um, I have. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. I like this dude a lot already. He's uh, bringing a lot of useful competency to the situation that our God is not. Dead body from the tree. Dead body? Mm -hmm. No. So the body is still in the tree. <laughs> This is the first time we detect the weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It's obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. That empathy check. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Yeah, let's roll with it. Interview cafeteria manager. Continue. Check my pockets. You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. <laughs> I'm a police woman and I have my badge. <laughs> no, it was it wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has short wave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you try to look at it as quick as possible. But getting the bike down should still take precedence. Lieutenant Kim Kituragi. Now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. All right. I should just do my business and talk to the person. The man with the unimpressive beard. Oh, that was just your approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding down to turn to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Precinct 41. Mm, let's see. He looks realize he still doesn't know your name. Uh... I'm currently in between names. Fantastic. <laughs> it's like when you left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo artist name yet. Kim is about to say something I should let him say. Maybe he'll say what my name is. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily checking over her duties. Do you have her number? In a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? In Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. 
This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I imagine. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need direction. Of course yes, he does. I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. He has a really weird vibe about him. I didn't imply that. Detective? He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right on. The face expresses profound doubt in your having this. <laughs> Nah, man, I really don't ever need to ask this. Where exactly? We know where the body is. Why did Sylvie go away? Maybe he knows who killed him. No, kill him. Let the police. That's your job. I'd ask if he killed him. Why did Sylvie go away? Join because none of your business. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? I don't want to be an asshole. I'm not a. Am I not a cop? Everything is my business. It's fine. That's it. Card. Not so fast. Once you owe me 130 real. So we're in like Brazil. Not gonna happen. I don't know your shit. And what's a real? Gotta ask that only option. You pronounce the R for the aristocratic accent. Uh, oh, Jareel, success. The IR or the is global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume means you owe him some money. Yeah, let's repeat that to him. Oh, you're a genius. That's right. You owe me this establishment 130. He points to the red ledge on the counter. <laughs> you're under arrest. <laughs> what exactly is money? What are all this place for? Let's see. He dramatically turns a page in the ledger. Three nights at a tariff for 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. Probably 40 real in the damages. Another thing, you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real, actually more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachal. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30, 130 real, and yes, real is still money. What exactly is money? What are you, a flosser? No, I'm just getting my bearings. money is what grown up people use to pay for things things like hostel rooms or he peeks into the ledger eight balls of potent blend nine packs of royal extra we use it for everything really mm. proceed but don't show them the coins there you i'm just gonna is this money yes it is count them and give them what's 10 plus 10 and give them the money i have now you see there's a tinge of size voice so that's 40 cents since are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real i'm not even going to take this come back when you have 130. okay isn't that evil the order of magnitude between what it is as a person and what they have isn't evil isn't it evil the order of magnitude between what is asked of a person and what they have Yeah, you keep it yourself and peel the coins. There's a shuffle of nylons. Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pocket of his orange blown bomber. It says that cops for you. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have money, any money either. What happens now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money to buy tonight, then. Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in the jam rug, right? It's not that far away. Uh, that's probably true. 
Officer, I've had no crease to appear on his forehead. You really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them, ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. Boy, we are... We got some business. Okay, so... Help back. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank space. I really don't remember. But you've had been you but you've been at this hostile craft terror for like three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Up on Marvel Hill? Why'd you say that? <laughs> you know a place called Marvel Hill. You know he thinks isn't that expression at a place? <laughs> A saying, up on Marvel Hill, a great high place, one that is impossible to climb back to. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you're out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on a building? I, l I live in a dumpster, I don't care, fuck everything, hobo cop. You can try, run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street in our apartment will appear. Huh. What's your wine? So I'm trying to think about. Can I move my thoughts? Oh, I wonder if my. Okay, so I'm just trying to remember stuff and I'm learning this stuff along the way. I guess I could be in one of these places. Uh, I'll just let that do what it's going to do. Okay, so this is where my... Oh. Maybe... Which way is Outback? I have another thought. Police work is tough. Take breaks. Talk to strangers. Explore. Maybe the direction he can. Maybe this is the way. Summer door closed for the winter. This boy. The saw power of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Oh, it's someone's in the kitchen right now. Hmm. Not my problem right now. Kitchen reserved, so no kitchen. That's all reserved for union members. Okay. We out this way. I feel like this is the way to his cruiser. I want to get that body out from the tree if I can do that in pretty short order. Maybe back here. Hmm. That kid. Throwing rocks at the body, we should probably. The kids, this kid's ladder, rickety butt climb ball. I was a kid, wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. It smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. I'm just trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. What's this here? I should talk to this kid. There are several footprints in the mud left by work bo boots. Yeah. What kind of boots? A worker's boots with reinforced toes and hob hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Lieutenant, worker's boot tracks. Correct. Noted. 
I uh, should now let's try it. Nice. Maybe more than twelve. No, eight pairs of boots I've shuffled back and forth in the mud. Over them one by one. Standard work boot reinforced steel reinforced toes, number forty six. Four. Silver so book, no forty five or forty six. Got more. Another summer boot. An aberration, light as air, even pace. Same make a boot, but number 41. Male or female? Also, tell could also been an adolescent. The gate is undeveloped. Pretty good, is ain't it? No, count the rest. The glowing outlines of standard world boot, but in blue imprints are twice as deep as other's weight exceeds 200 kilograms. And yet, another standard word, Book 44, there is an aberration in the pattern of the soul. However, the right soul is smoother and more worn. How many? The train is tracking our movements. Eight, 400 million. That was pretty often. I counted 20. Yeah, the same guys are going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Hyperopia. E pop points his glasses. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Light step. Yeah, these are all good points. Light step. I don't think there's any way to be sure about that one. Anything else? Heavy one. He thinks for a moment. Could it be combined with two people, one carrying the other is tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. One of them was carrying Wilbur. Maybe it was a giant, it could be an extremely obese person. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe one is carrying over. Possibly yes. Lieutenant marks something down in his notebook. You think why did they have to why did they carry him? Yes, they could have used a makeshift stretcher and just marched him up the gallows. Maybe the victim wasn't conscious. Even easier to carry a stretcher or between men and anyway, it's for the future consideration. Nah, that's actually true. Even if he was unconscious, yeah, having like a tool would be better. Let's name it on the odds in the let's name it the odd soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal, like a joiner at the harbor. He thinks for a second, maybe a drummer. What we're looking for is a drummer. No, it's not, forget I said it. We're looking we're not looking for a drummer. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out their right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Not thoughtfully. Would you keep your eyes open around the traffic jam to see whether anyone strikes out as potential suspects? It seems prudent. No. Keep your eyes open around the traffic jam. Yeah, that's prudent. It's like not. Week maybe seven days will fit the time frame provided to us by the caller who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. Of all the last week's forecast for the coastal Revachal, Revachal, seven days below freezing. The day before the day of his hanging was one of the last, the last warm day. Correct again, visual calculus. Sub zero temperatures would preserve. The track's in good state. The commotion here could have been placed a week ago. What do you think happened here? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shoveled around, especially under the tree. And then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed, they all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Then we have a firm understanding of what happened here. To his eyes now, he's thinking to himself. He includes what else? We've been all through it. Of this kid. Well, be all shit. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Kuno's got this. Yo, I thought that was a kid. That's just a weird adult. If there was ever such thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite as ugliness, like a gremlin. Oh yeah, never could be Kuno. 
Nap it can be. Hey kid. Word. One more time, please. Can't talk, pig! Shit's coming up strong! Throwing rocks! <laughs> Shit's coming up strong. What's your chemistry? Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyish. You should hang out with this kid and see what this juicy shit is all about. Yeah, let's check it out. It's good. I mean, drugs. The kid's on drugs. <laughs> yeah, Kuno. Ride the lightning, Kuno. Kuno's all charged up. Kuno's riding a sea. He wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. What you gonna do with that rake, Kuno? You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! Incorrect. Incorrect, uh, Kuno S. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener! Oh, kid, you wanna hang out? I'm not a narc. Incorrect. Are you kids siblings? Can much we do? Ask if they're related? That's a weird question to ask. I've, I'm just gonna ask, like, I have some questions for him. All right! Entertain the Kuno! Show me what she got! What she got there! What she got there! Huh? Show me what she got! How uh, about the crime scene? Right, big. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. Fuck do you want with it? <laughs> the ladder of reclimbing. Yeah, ask me to reclimb that ladder. Look like. Look at that fucking shade screech. You trying to get Kuno killed? So you would say the ladder is unclimbable. Let's clean up. Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. <laughs> Lieutenant takes a quick note in his notebook. It's a trap. Kuno, don't glam it, Kuno. What's in the greenhouse over there? Don't know. Kipped ass grant. Kipped ass gardener used to work there. Kipped is a pejorative term used to describe people of the. Oops. Shouldn't have said that word. It used to be a common first name among the. Aeropagites of the Mara, not so much anymore. You mean the young woman by the whirling in rags? The whirling in rags. That's the gardener. Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. He looks you in the eye and nods if agreeing with himself. Yeah, her. <laughs> what was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? That's not important now. The fuck are you starting with your mouth open? Ask Kuno a question and get the fuck out. That's fair. Yeah, whatever Kuno doesn't give a shit. He spits over his shoulder, then looks up back up at you. The body. What do you know about it? The body. What do you know about it? Yeah. Shit low big, what's your question? Uh Big's choking, he's totally choking. Whispers, Kim help me please. If I were want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. Do you know who he will oh rhetoric. The usual being is have you seen anything? Yeah, yeah. You know who he was. Kuno's fucking gimp, he picks up a rock. Kuno's uses fucking gimp for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. But he don't know anything. You know, he got up there. Probably climbed. Kuno's busy down the road when that shit went down. So he didn't see it happening. You're a Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in the Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revishal. He pulls himself up. Kuno wasn't regional. I don't know, some... Okay, where where you go then? I don't know, some fucking... He looks around trying to come up with something. Mesk or some... Or I don't know, some other place. Night City. Kuno's in fucking Night City. There's no Night City anywhere, and that sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Okay. About the dead body. Yeah, Kuno didn't smoke on if that's what you mean. Yeah, that's maybe suspicious what I should have started off with. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. It seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Hey, you tell him. <laughs> I think I know what that one's going to be. Kuno. 
Looks like your whatever that means. Suspicious question doesn't really look work in an antagonistic situation. Suspicion quote, suspicious question doesn't more is later. Just include all the patients then. Get lost. I wanna discuss the body with you again. Now more questions. I got I gotta ask who is Kuno. Well, I'm off. You kids are real gems. Um, what do we have over here? But our words are crown on the room below, a light above descending. This is the local of municipality of Revishal. Maybe I should talk to this little shitty kid. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. Stop taking steps closer. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck, are you trying to pull, pig? Let's walk away. We need to find a way to get this body down. The corpse looks at you with bulging wide eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Uh-oh. Let go of your nose without throwing up. God, <laughs> I don't have this legendary endurance required for this. Why is it so bad? Active decay, the lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one's judging. He's about to blow. The cop's gonna blow, Guno. Like, you, like, oh, let's try. I did it. I can't, I can't believe I, I passed the 8% check. As you breathe in, the odor comes over you. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run, and your stomach is ringing itself empty. With your hands to your side, your eyes squinting, you stand it. Stand in it. Step closer. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enameled boots. The skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins and blotched, but blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Let's check out these boys' boots. The Hanged Man. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Delicate and fragile, they feel the ends of the world around you, out of place somehow. These clear knot boots, their armor, and possibly part of a larger set. Say it out loud. Indeed, with his notebook under his arm, Lieutenant crouches to inspect the soles. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. What kind of armor is this exactly? Sermon plate, zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Where? Under the heel, Fairweather. He turns the boots slightly. Fairweather Model T500 slash VE. I'm guessing that's a virtuous enamel. This is advanced stuff. Oh, the material looks out of place here. It is it's expensive. The lieutenant draws a line in, in the condensation on ceramic with his index finger. We requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabulary, constabulary, word I don't use because I'm from America, deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. What are we talking about? For a full set, about four years of wages. For the northwest region of Revishal and officers, your average yearly income is 55 months real. Unadjusted for rank. Kaching, baby. I that's a lot, I take it. As a wage is regrettably small, but for a piece of hardware, yes, that's a lot. Um, how could this man afford such expensive hardware? That's for us to find out. My initial report on the air suggests he was a security guard for the Harbor Company, but that's just hearsay. 
Okay, makes sense. No, he said, makes. He said, your first thing doing was correct. This equipment is way beyond the security guard can afford. I was saying it makes sense to respond to the fact that he did a thing that he did. Not that this makes sense that this security guard is wearing armor. Anyway, whatever. How to the rest of it? It is expensive. The lieutenant draws a line. It is. It is. It's expensive. The lieutenant draws a line in the condensation of the ceramic with index finger. We requested some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Done this. That's all I take it. Okay. Pull the boot off. The stench fills your nostrils and push down right on ominous creaking sound comes from above. Stop, Lieutenant Voice Sharpie. Let's see you with the boot under your arm. He's going to pull his head off. Brutal. Lieutenant, you seem distressed. Oh. Let go of the foot, the boot. What's wrong with you, asshole? Why is he letting go, Kuno? I don't know, baby. Kuno shrugs. I don't know why he's such a... Oh, sorry, may I, if I may ask, what were you trying to cheat on pulling the deceased foot? Um, I'm going to back off and look at the corpse. Let's inspect the uh, belt. He's wearing a belt. Oh, that's what's around his neck, isn't it? The hem is not pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow hard edge poly polyester cuts into his neck. Above a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother, the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. That's how I know, but this is a lashing belt used for airlifting cargo. Airlifting, I thought it was used on lorries for stripping cargo to them. Apparently this is a reinforced kind for air transport. You know, the local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they're used for they used whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. So it must be that. I'm assuming Doc from the harbor did it. The brief, the brief suggested as much. Politically motivated by the ongoing strike, did not. Did you not get a briefing? My past has undergone total nightmares, and never remains my mother, the love of my life. Certainly not a briefing. No, I might have forgotten to brief you. Brief me. Then you should ask me. You think you should ask me the first one we get. Okay. Check the tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretched across the tattoo, the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. Let's just show you some small stars from the crossing. Is this a map of the night sky? No. Microelectronic microelectronic system? I don't know what that means. This is a national pattern. Let's try that. Of no nation that I know of. If anything it reminds me of the religious illumination, last or penultimate century. Men who live harsh lives often turn to innocent worship. Innocentric worship. But which one? I see no trace of a humanoid figure. We're missing something here. I agree. Sudden ring fills the air as the lieutenant pulls down the zipper of his orange jacket. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminum from his coat pocket and pulls it open. It sounds like a sword being unleashed. Unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. The lieutenant work. Shit, Kuno, what the fuck is that? An instant color camera. He produces two metal capped ampoules and clicks them into place on the side of the apparatus. A thin slot shines there. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. He points to the camera of the corpse, peering into it. The lens needs adjusting, then. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by a breaking of a small ampoule, ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour into the thick, glossy piece of paper rolling out. On it, a color perfect copy of the dead man's tattooed chest, in case we need it. Lieutenant says and shakes the paper, letting it dry in the color in the cold wind. Cool machine. We know what you need a photo for. It's a crime scene, dude. Yes, he slides the camera closed and tucks it away and on his belt. It's pretty cool, isn't it? What do we need this photo for? 
It contains insights of the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Can I have it? I should look at it later without the course mail. I'm going to leave Kim to have it. I don't trust my own competency. Here, a souvenir. He hands you the piece of rolled up photo paper. It's no larger than a pack of cigarettes. Don't lose it. The glassy eyed corpse looks by his mouth, looks by his mouth and mouth mute. <clears throat> the glassy eyed corpse looks by his mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow in the photo paper teeming with opportunistic organism. Now here's the questions. How do we get him down? He stops to think then checks his notes. Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these once he's down. Now let's take another look. I guess here he's right. Look him in the eyes, which I don't think he has any of them. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just subaquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows in his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic process inside. The death's head grin is vast. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Tell me who you are, dead man. Fail. Corpse is dead silent. You have no idea why you just said that. <laughs> I'll back off then. Squint and take a step back. As you know your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does this position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. His face hands are pink, thighs too. I see it. He adjusts his glasses, his neck too. Lividity goes right up to his up his chin. We have good, well pronounced discoloration here. Smiles. The monster comes back into focus, an explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thighs onto his boot. Uh, let's see. I think he was upright after his death. His hands and feet and neck are discolored. <laughs> I think he's dead. I think he was upright after his death. Mm, let's see that. This one's kind of dark marble veins. I think he was after his death. Agreed. He points the belt, especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis, hypo, hypostasis reports a hanging. Yep, seems like a lynching to me. Could it still be a mood of the death? Like a lynching to me. Everything here seems to collaborate, corroborate that assumption, but we should still get him down before assigning a probable cause of death. Look at the bruises. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. Delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little sport. Stop talking to riddles, coin slot. He means you fucked him up good. You know, the girls yells, fucked him up brutal, like. Uh, back him and catch your breath. So, uh, preliminary examination is done. Get him down. Hmm. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. Brought, I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach. Got a skill point. So let's see. This game is kind of weirdly laggyish. Like performance isn't fantastic. Boy, I'm just thinking about that. Not coming up with much. I guess I haven't walked by any streets either. either. Okay, I could have sworn to that skill point. Maybe I use it over here. No. I could level up more logic, but I think I'm pretty logical already. Uh, 
drama, rhetoric, visual calculus seems to come up quite a bit. My physical body's not doing great, though, is it? I really just want to boost up this composure. Straighten your back, keep your poker face. Let's level this up. Composure seems like it's going to be important because things become more tense. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither of us can reach the belt without assistance. And if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. Can't someone else do it? Incorrect answer. We could saw the branch. We still have to get up there. Seems like a lot of hassle. Let's not do it. Incorrect. Maybe we could shoot him down real, real dumb. Maybe we could ask for help at the harbor. That's for that. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The unit appears to be suspects in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. That's fair. I would really prefer if there was another way. These people might have an agenda. Let's consider our other option. Well, if that's the case, then maybe we could saw the branch. Come over there and saw the branch. <laughs> yeah, it seems dangerous. There has to be a less risky way of less falling down off trees. Man, I really don't want to uh, come to shoot him down. That just seems like a buck wild solution. Um, I had ideas. Let's go talk to somebody. I mean, it's clear that's not an option to just bust them down like that. Money and pills. You don't have any business over here. I like the writing in this game so far. I want it's like not being super bummy and can be kind of charming, kind of funny. I know there's a person over here. What can I help you? He sounds abrupt. You don't see a lot of police around here, that's all. Of course. What can I help you with? Um, that's all for now. Yeah, she's like, there's, she's doing nothing. There's no reason for me to. Maybe I can just talk to, talk to him. Yes. I think you know that I can't remember. Talk about the case. Literally anything. I can't remember a single thing. That's a fact. Ah, yes, the case brief you missed. Now I remember. He opens his note. Brief, yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergency desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in the Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in rags post the hostile cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company, Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Why didn't we know anything about the first caller? Wait, it's proof saying about who the victim was. A security guard, a worker of some sort, hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled, using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what seems what's seen as a union matters. The dock workers union is in de facto is a de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they started executing too. We cannot allow that. Of course, I understand everything now. Just to be clear, we are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. That's the case. Uncover and arrest the killer. 
have all I need. Leave. Hey, dude. Uh, welcome to Revachol. Welcome to this, and as we're done, the mark isn't. The more mark isn't addressed to you, it's addressed to Kim. Hey, I know Rojal, that's where we are. Um, uh, address them like that. Don't you welcome to Revachol, me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Uh oh. Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Um, uh, should not say it's anything here. You who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post war limbo. What he means is fixation on the Revachalian nation makes it harder for Revachal to actually attain self determination. I don't. Yeah, we should get away from this situation for him. Nothing good could come of it. Jump jams, a popular music, musical bag. Glossy bag, most able bodied men. Say a shoe, I was a top 10 list. Give me them garbage pills. In here. Looks like I'm also losing time. Yellow roses, dozen of them tulips too. Hey, pal. Welcome to Fritz. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's this magazine for? We go. What is Fritz? Reading. I have some questions for you. Sure. Um. Okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but. Can you tell me about that dead body. We know how long it's been there. Did you know the man that died? Not really. Oh no, I didn't know at all. That's it. That's enough. I need to find something to get that man down. Doesn't even matter. Let's stick to the plane here. Let's stick to the point. Over the thick of it. And I don't think we should deal with that until we get this man down. Goods from the lorry have hazily littered the surroundings. I'm a gander and a hunter and a gatherer, feel like a traveler. The man mutters himself, assenting the beats as he goes. Accenting the beats as he goes. That simple little cadence, he seems to be making up as he goes. Keep listening. Hey there. Come on here. It's the jam, my man. He motions towards the sprawl of lures with a sweeping gesture. What's the jam? The jam for the ages. Harbor gates of the street are shut tight, no explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all-around cluster fuck. And a dumpster Meanwhile, fucking fire. Stuck here in long haul limbo, for days upon days upon days, upon days. Limbo, huh? So that's where I am. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
It's official. He too agrees. This is an antechamber of afterlife. Cool. I'm actually a person that's more like I would in real life. Like in real life, I try not to constantly bug people. <laughs> it's just a casual, idle conversation. So, what's your story, buddy? Horseback Monument. Oh, this is neat. I like the art style in this game. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. Looks as if it's been re reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Whose is this? The silver black on the statue's pedestal reads, I'm Philippe the Third, the squanderer, the grace of the Philippian, Philippian, Philippian kings of Ravishal, son of Philippe, second the opulent father of Philippe, the fourth, the insane. Even by standards of Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philippe was known for his profligacy. Profligacy? And in what way? While he brewed through the whole national treasure, starting to decline one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers. Suzerain Rav Ravishol. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the Antisentinial Antisentinial Revolution and into his family line in the monarchy of the Insulindian Isola. How'd he manage to blow up the entire treasury? It's always happened that he had his bedroom converted to treasure to a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Rugerans, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armor, and various chalices. He called it Sol Arum. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold dipped feathers like some obese dragon instead of a bed like a normal person. I would sleep like to sleep on gold, hustler style. The king is the king, he can do anything. Wait, really? There's no way that's true. Still, it's true. But wait, you haven't even heard about his fable cocaine edition. I'm like, what now? You see, Old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold and ceremonial weaponry. He was also a prodigious, a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Bad booger sugar. Not just any nose candy, though. We're talking about raw Philippian blow. Allegedly twice as potent as the stuff you find nowadays in purple. Philippian cocaine was purple. Okay, where is he buried now? Beneath the cold waters of the Salundian Bay, thrown there by revolutionaries after they cleaned out the Royal Mausoleum. Comes to the statue. The original was blown apart by Comorans, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airship during the turn of the century's resolution. Then Martinez was leveled. Most historians think coalition's hasty landings may have been ultimately saved the statue. If the Comorans had more time, they would have reduced it up even finer pieces. Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of, of the most wasteful ruler of Ravishal in the poorest part of the city. The statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time. A rare butterfly trapped in amber, floating on a sea of shit. No, so bro, it's so funny and nihilistic. Uh, I really don't get art. Neither do people in Martinez. The centers proved to be controversial and neighborhood mostly populated by left leaning working class. With third. However, his bronze face to his air doesn't seem concerned about what he, the Hoi Poloi, think of him in death. Not that he ever did in life either. Like, that was a lot to learn. But reading is fundamental. Take this money. Dollar fifty seven. I need substantially more money than that. The small wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along with something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands and there's a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambro type from the turn of the century. Gold is her smile. Now well, let's ask some questions. No response, wherever this woman is. Words fail to reach her. I'm going to leave. There's no way I'm going to snap my fingers in front of this nice old woman. Dirty tank top.
Oh man, I, I don't want that. <laughs> look at this. Is, this is a bad look. Oh, I have such a bad look. Gotta keep my stuff to myself. Use the interact button in return to inspect the item. It does look quite good. So I wonder if I can use items. I need to show people these tattoos, I guess. I right click you. I'm sure it's going to be fine. They'll tell me what to do, right? Full of snow, no one lives here anymore. I'm gonna have to check on that engine over here. Before you you stand, it's a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue. And white liver, library beating the number 57. Hmm, that word. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that towed you from oblivion. The door. In the cabin, you're welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Let's pull out the toolbox. The dog drawer slides out from the seat because the place, the tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you officer. It's going to be a long case, so I'm not protective of my tools like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. What can you do? Chain cutters while pushing the toolbox. I'm going to take the chain cutters. Pry bar. Oops. Okay. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, what's in here? What does that say? I wonder if that made him think more about, um, So I guess just like looking at streets may help him. Wait, let's read that again, actually. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Let's rewind, let's retrace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the raised channel, blind, fall over, get up. Go under the rain. Oh, that shoots the first time of year. There's a cellar with fence. Someone started to remember, apparently. Do you have any tools I can use? Um, shoot him down. Yeah, the enthusiasm on stream. Bang, bang, time. Pig, shoot his head off. How? Just shoot the belt. The bullet will break it. That's probably not true. It absolutely. <laughs> It absolutely will not. Officer, that is not how physics work. It may cut one thread loose. Yeah, now we're talking to retain the Kuno with some shit. They'll miss. The pigs will miss. Yeah, I don't think it has bad idea written all over it. What else can we do? Can't someone else do it? That's not an option. Seems like a lot of hell. Let's not do it. Uh, do we ask for help or just shoot randomly? Okay, if this is really me, I would just have to ask somebody else to help. They do have tools and men since they look like they put him there. 
They can get him down too. How do we get inside the harbor? From the gates. By negotiating or fighting. I'm unenthusiastic about fighting. He looks around. Or we can try to find some secret third path. It's unlikely though. Mm. Let's get to it then. I mean, there's just no other option. I mean, the, it's it's so stupid. Inconspicuous pile of roof material. What is it? Now. Okay, so I, I can equip these things. See if it makes a difference. I want to use something. Unclip this locked containers. Locked containers. So I mean, I guess it would just do it. Well, that's neat. Probably a little unnecessary at the moment. It's very jarring that I can't move the camera into another movement. But I guess it's like more of an adventure game style of choice there. Apparently it's locked. Oh, so this is gonna be a while. I should probably call on the radio now. Pick up the radio. Soft power of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide from the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 40, 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy, just be confident. You've probably done that a thousand times. Come to dispatch, come to dispatch. Come in, Delta 10, this is Firewalker, copy. Come to dispatch, come in, dispatch. Yeah, they're just talking regular, let's do that. This is Officer Alice Dimitri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? A voice replies on the radio. I need you to connect to a civilian. Sylvie, she may have reported a murder. Nope. Did you take me for first precinct? That's some good I need to report. Just a second, officer. She puts you on hold. The static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. 10 2 10 5. This is 41st. Come in. Over. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. The man uses a relay code. You got this. You're a cop, and cops know relay code. 10 4, station 41. You got, I've got urgent business. Over. 10 4, message received. 10 5, relay message. What's your status? Over. It's reporting in. Over. 10 18, state your message, sir. I need to report my badge missing. I'm in dire near of financial assistance. This may see and sound odd, but there's a personal details I'd like to assess. I need to report my badge missing. A badge, I can't find anywhere. Basically, it's gone. 10 4 message received. This is a very serious situation. I need 1022 and the captain over. Is it him? A dry voice asking the background, What does he want? He lost his badge and needs to report it. What? He lost his badge? Wait, nothing. Just my man, who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? I know my name now. It's Officer Dick. He tries to speak through laughter. Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen the Lost Identity. She says Dick Mullen is not your oh, is not your name. <laughs> it's the name of a fictional fiction fictional. Oh man, that was a word, huh? Fic, fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Authority, defend yourself. Immediately they're laughing at you. Come on, operator, it's on the stop. This is serious. No. Can we just move on? I was just lost by how like I'm the first cop to 
Don't sound of Just move on. 10 4, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here and that you're in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me, man. Come here. You got here. This dick mom lost his badge. What's going on? Super cop here lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Not enough. Now, I have enough things other things to discover. Or discuss. 10 9, come again. I didn't get that over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult for him to hear you. New heights, even for Captain Sober? Ask him. The speaker gasps for air. Ask him if he lost his gun too. The room roars with laughter. Sergeant Torson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Over. Take your pocket. Check your hole. Oh, fuck. You don't know where it is. Oh, God. Uh, half light. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck, you don't know where it is, do you? Oh god, it's not here. Okay, it's gone. Your gun is most definitely gone. <laughs> Say not coming, officer. Did you get my question? We're worrying about your gun, over. Uh, I'm gonna have to try to convince him I didn't lose. Oh, this is bad. No, of course I didn't lose my fun gun. Fuck it, I didn't lose my gum. He says he didn't lose his gun or his fun, whatever that means. Ask him to scrub it. His gun, not his fun. Just the gun will do. He laughs. Silent Officer McLean requests description of your weapon over. And <laughs> yeah, what are we hacking? It's a gun. What can I say? Regular goddamn murder weapon. You know how they are. Bang, bang. Look, I don't have it all right. I don't have my gun. I don't, I, but here's the thing. I don't know if it's important to me to report it. You know, what are we hacking? It's a single shot. Keo A9 and Armistice to be precise. Speaking of the radio. Says Keo 9 Armistice. Or says, what is he fucking? Clearly he doesn't have the billiards anymore. Dear God, he lost his gun. Oh my, I can't. He, he, the man succumbs to laughter again. This isn't really a laughing matter. Oh, I forgot that. Tim is from a different district, so. Matt can face the giant of Coco Nora by himself, but Disco here made him piss his pants. Oh, I can't. Fuck, he lost his. Ask him if he still has his wiener. I'm not going to. Ask him. Sergeant Torres in here wondering if you're still in possession of your genitalia over. Yeah, I lost my wiener too. Just lay off, okay? I left it as mama's after I fucked her ass all night. Tell him that. I don't need to listen to this. Fireworker out. No, I still have more questions though. I need to ask about that money thing. Someone say this thing. That's a negative. Not going to say that over. What's he saying? Share with the class. He said he sodomized your mother. That prick ate mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. Sure, her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate. Shut up, Chester. This ain't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. Tell him to apologize right now. Sergeant Torsten requests that you apologize for claims you made about his mother. Hey, if you don't like the fallout, maybe don't fuck with the firewalker. Yeah, there we go. I'm not going to do that. He said he's sorry and didn't mean anything by it. Okay, tell him. Tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. That's the only thing that matters here. Silent officer. Oh, I heard him. I heard him on it. From an officer improve his firearm. They're aesthetic. Oh, God. I'm, the man is fighting back tears. Officer, do you need further assistance? I'm in dire need of financial assistance. Sit right here. I don't have authority to grant your quest, but what does he want now? He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just going to drink it all. All right. The operator turns back to you. That's a negative on additional funds, sir. Over. Hey, it's Paramount Investigation. You grab me more money. He says it's important to the case. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. Request the not, sir. Over. Okay. All right. No fun. Might sound odd, but it's personal details I'd like to discuss. 10 4 here. You relay your question over. Wait, before you say anything stupid, then get through. I need information, not fear. Wait before you say anything stupid, then get through. What's there to think about? You're going to be looking at a straight jacket if you tell everyone you lost your memory. Be smart about this. Ask, ask if he's there alone. He's obviously not alone. I wanted to fuck up my bad description right for the report. Could you read to me? Name, rank, date of birth. No, oh, no, that's going to sound ridiculous. I'm looking for a address. I'm, nope, please refer to me in a full name in the future. 
I remember told you about my life before the RCM. Hmm. We know he's not alone. So that's not an option. I want to know if you and my badge description report. I can't ask for that number two. Number three sounds ridiculous. I told you my life before. Well, that's a... Does he actually want something or is he helping on disrupting our work? He has never told me about his days before joining the RCM. For God's sake, cut this shit out. Someone stop wasting time and be a goddamn police man for change. Sir, side officer, I heard him. Uh, he, I don't think I can get through this way without just seeming like a real piece of work here. Uh, please refer to me by my full name. It's a real name, goddamn will you? Uh, what was this? He can, what can he possibly still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. So that's narrow. Oh, never mind. Let's get it. Let's wrap it up. Close the door. <laughs> oh, geez. Where are we at in our journey? Track down your gun. Someone's just someone lost our arm. Maybe a district authority. Someone like someone of the high of the union. Someone local saw you with it before you passed out. Check down your badge. Then Clary should go about finding a tiny piece of plastic in the world as huge as this. Maybe just stumble across it. Down the line, miracles happen. Somehow get the body down, the victim's tattoo. Pay for the damages. Can't ask the station for funds. We have a call report and crime. Call Sylvie using short waves. See if I need to call. On your other shoe. Man, I think I completed that one. Look at that check mark on done. So what is my other shoe? I got it. I'm wearing it right now. Good. Okay. I guess I'll do the last call for the Salise. Although that does seem like a... Of course, what's in her officer? Kim, did you get Gersh off his number? Yes. Received. Start slapping a margin rim on your thigh. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. It takes a bit to get to the phone. Your phone returns. I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello. A female voice greets you through stag. It sounds like she's a million miles away from here. Hello, this is the police calling. I have some questions for you about last days at work. Oh, right. She recognized your voice almost immediately. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? There is no resentment in her tone. She wants you to ask her out. No question about it. Um, oh, electrochemistry. Was it you who called the police? Have you seen my badge? Have you seen my gun? Uh, was it you who called the police? No, not me. Do you know who made that call? No, sorry, I don't. She clears her throat. Not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wire. People don't have money to have the cables put in again. They use the union's phone or the one up on the coast. The union has a phone and there's one further down the coast. Got it. It was someone else. The lieutenant makes a note. We'll find them sooner or later. Next question. We're not going to ask her why she didn't do it. Is there a badge? Yes, I know who you are. You're a police officer at the law. This exact conversation has happened before. Establishing authority before this young girl seems to have been important to you in the past. Don't go there again. My badge is missing. Oh, no, I haven't. Sorry. Rear policemen have uniforms, too, by the way. Where's yours? No, my uniform, too. God, I should really look into that. Kim doesn't have a uniform. He seems real to me. I'm going to let it slide. I don't need an answer for every little thing. Mm, I don't need an answer to every little thing. Right. It's better not to ask too many questions. Less people start thinking you're a cop or something. Have you seen my gun? Please, no, not this again. Everyone saw your cool gun detective. It sounds beyond exacerbated. I showed you my gun. When did it happen? 
You're trying to impress some people with it. Everyone's eating and she stops hesitantly. Not sure if she should continue. What did I do? You're waving it around in everyone's face, begging them to describe it. You said it calms you. Then you started making suicide jokes. It got pretty graphic. Oh, those again? I've been trying to wean you off them. Trauma. Of what? You know, when you put your gun, your actual gun on your temple and pretend to shoot your brains out? Off of that. People don't like that. Hmm, I remember this. You were screaming things like, My brains are all over the walls, painting them red. I won't be seeing it. Cause there are my these are my brains. I can't see without my brains. Very nice visuals there. What a threatening kill myself. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to say. Me either. What happened to my gun? No idea. All I know is next year waving around money instead. Saying things like big bugs cannot lie and guns cannot buy money, but money can always buy guns. It it almost looks like you pawned it, but believe me, I did not. Ask, she sighs. You quit the job with the whirling. You mean why to leave that bar? You can hear it tense on the side. Honestly, I'm I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Alright, I don't want to push you on this. You ever come back to work? Maybe I don't know. She seems relaxed a little. I just don't know how to I just have to take some time off right now. Uh, I'm not gonna hit on her. I think I got everything we need. I do hope so. Please don't call me again. Bye. Wait, why does she seem angry with you? We'll never find out. Yeah, it's definitely some other guy. A guy like Gart. Okay. No, she has a problem with you. It must be someone else she's angry about. Some other guy like Gart. Uh, okay. I'm sure it's like Gart. You know, women and their constant problems. Yak, yak, nag, nag. How's I supposed to get the love going like that? That's where you step in. You're Lieutenant Love, mach love matchmaker extraordinaire. I don't pour it out unless he turns into a spinster. Oh my god. Not a spinster. Yeah, she's the one. Probably just playing hardball with the goods. One of just transactional. I'm happy to help. I mean, I could do so without all this internalized misogyny. <laughs> I probably could do that. What misogyny? I'm just telling things the way they are. Can't a man be honest his own head anymore? You have to act, Lieutenant Love. You have to be calm. I have to calm that hysteric down. Tell it you tell it it you got everything down to control. Then go and have a little boys talk with Guard himself. Think you do that? To the microphone. Are you still there, kiddo? Listen, I got everything under control. Dad's gonna take you in his lap, little darling. Please no. I don't want to say any of those things. Refuse the love quest, even though it's wonderful. I'm gonna say no to that. You're just a gimp. What, you want to be more empathetic? Call was turned by the other party. Anything else, officer? I'm done with the radio. 57 over and out. Her voice disappears into the void. I close the door. I'm going to close the door on this game for now. I like it. I want to play more of this. I think it's neat.